Hello my besties, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have something very, very, very exciting to share with you guys. So stay tuned. So, this video I am super, super excited to be filming. Me and two of my bookish besties put together a readathon. So with that being said, this is the announcement video with all the details and stuff that follow the readathon. So the readathon is called All Booked Up Readathon. This will probably more than likely be a reoccurring readathon for this run of the readathon. We are running it from Friday, April 21st at midnight Eastern Standard Time to 3 p.m. On, on April 23rd. It's technically supposed to be a 24-hour readathon, but the time period that we have set as of right now to give people the opportunity to read if they don't feel like staying up for 24 hours straight is 39 hours in total. I did that purposefully for that reason to give people the opportunity to get their books done because what I want this edition of the readathon to be is to be able to knock out the rest of your hopefuls that you want to get done in the month of April before the end of the month. So we have prompts we have a scavenger hunt, we have reading sprints in a discord group, and we have live reading sprints here on my channel. And I cannot wait because I am joined by my two other hosts, Jay from Bookish Jay and Peo from Books Coffee and Peo. They are both on Instagram and their links to their Instagram accounts will be linked in the description below. With that being said, I want to get into the prompts. The prompts are purple on the cover, new to you author, BIPOC author, TBR book that has been on your TBR for one plus years, a debut novel, and a novella. With that being said, I have some recommendations for the majority of the prompts. So to start off with, for debut novel, I recommended In Pieces by Noelle Ron Johnson. This was published in 2015 and I have followed this author for a very long time now and she has actually become one of my great and dear friends. This is a contemporary college romance. It's supposed to be like extremely sad at some points, but I've read a lot of her books. Unfortunately, I still need to get to the series, even though this has been the series that has been on my physical TBR for the longest time, seeing as it is indeed signed by the author. But this is a um, contemporary romance, like I said, and it follows Paige Masterson's and, and Ronan James. And Ronan is a newly drafted quarterback for the Denver Mountain Lions. And Paige is a 21 year old that she just graduated from the Institute of Contemporary Art in Boston and is attending her parents wake. And that's all I can really say as of right now. But I highly recommend this because the author's other works are absolutely phenomenal and I absolutely love them but I do hope to get to this very soon. The next books that I have to recommend for Peo, she recommends Distance by Luna Mason and Jay recommends Nemesis by Soraya. Now I do have graphics for other books to fit these prompts. The next prompt that I have are novella recommendations and I recommended uh, Cupid's Peak by Lee Jacques, I think is how you pronounce his last name. This is a steamy Valentine's Day related novella. I read this this Valentine's Day and absolutely enjoyed it. It was steamy, it was cute, it was sweet, it was cheesy in some parts. It was just the absolute perfect novella for Valentine's Day. I can't really go into too much detail about it without giving away any spoilers, so I just recommend going into it kind of blind. And then Peo recommended The Dare by Harley LaRox, I think is how you pronounce her name. And then... 
Jay recommended Loathe to Love You by Ellie Hazelwood, which is the bind up of her three novellas and her Love Hypothesis series. And then again, for the remainder of the recommendations that we have gathered are going to be in a graphic. For BIPOC authors, I recommended Ask Me to Stay by Ember Davis. This is also a novella, so you could use it for either the BIPOC or the novella prompt. This, again, is another short romance that ends up being a tad bit steamy. Again, I don't want to go into too much detail. I probably will never really give much of a synopsis for a novella because being with them being so short, it's hard to give details without giving away any spoilers. And then Peyo recommended Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. And Jay recommended Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. The next and final recommendations that I have are for Purple on the Cover. And I recommended Anna Maria and the Fox by Lana De La Rosa, which also can be used for BIPOC because she is a Latina author. I have not read this yet. The main reason why I recommended it is because the cover is absolutely stunning and I want to read it very, very soon. And then for Peyo's recommendation, she also recommended The Dare by Harley LaRock, but she also recommended Gathering Four by A.E. Bennett and J recommended Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Into the scavenger hunt prompt. We have your favorite book, a book you've tabbed slash annotated, your favorite bookish accessory, the prettiest book you own, the longest book you own, your favorite special edition, author with your initials, your favorite bookmark, and your favorite piece of bookish decor. These can be used however you want. I am probably going to post mine on my Instagram page. I will probably end up linking a Google folder that owns all of the all of the templates that have been made and the information templates as well as a google doc of all of the information in a text format all of our graphics were made by the lovely j and as I said, we have a pretty big reading sprints schedule. I will be hosting live sprints on my YouTube channel as well as um, hosting slash co-hosting reading sprints in the Discord channel. And we also have a very exciting kickoff live show on Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On the template... We also have all of the other time zones listed so you don't have to go and do like extra math to figure out which time zone you fit into and whatnot. So you can read as much as you want, as little as you want. If you have a book that fits every single prompt, that counts. You can join us whenever you can. You can stop whenever you want. We are not holding you entirely accountable for your reading. We are just giving you a little bit of extra motivation to hit your goals for the end of the month. So I think that is all of the information for this readathon that I have for you guys. I will probably end up posting a TBR video soon after this one gets uploaded. <laughs> all I can say is that I'm extremely excited to be um, a creator slash host alongside of Jay and Paola for this readathon. These ladies are absolutely amazing and they are some of my great friends and I am excited to have them are by my side for this readathon as well as being parts of the creating process. So with that being said, I hope you guys plan on joining and getting your reading goals accomplished for the month of April and I guess I can give a little bit it's not really a spoiler but it's I guess like an announcement I guess this is not going to be the only round of all booked up readathon there are other themed slashed <laughs> editions of this readathon coming very soon but 
as of now, that is all I have. And I will see you guys in my next video. Say bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye.